Hello, today I'm going to explain you how to get temperature using the DS322 and real time clock and uh, ASP8266. Well, you may be wondering how we are going to get the temperature from a real time clock. The DS3221 uh, is a very precise uh, device. Uh, and this device is controlled by a crystal oscillator which generates the clock signal needed for the device to operate. Uh, the more precise the crystal oscillator is, uh, the more precise and accurate the timekeeping is. Uh, but the fact is that a uh, crystal oscillator is affected by temperature. It's one of the main environmental conditions that affect uh, its precision. So, uh, the creators of this device um, use a method of temperature compensation uh, that uh, allows the, the device to have a much, much greater precision. Uh, if you analyze in the product page the diagram, you can check here um, that one of the pieces that composes the, the device is a temperature sensor, uh, which is then used to, to adjust the timekeeping. And uh, one of the, the possibilities that we have is to access the values of this temperature sensor. And this is what we are going to do uh, in our code. So, after firing our Arduino IDE, uh, we are going to start analyzing the code. Well, uh, I've already uh, created a previous video where I explained the basics of interacting with the DS3221, so I, I will not be uh, explaining again in uh, greater detail. So, but to, to sum up, we need to, to include the wire.h library because we are going to interact with the device via I2C protocol. protocol. Uh, we have also to, to, um, to include the RTC DS3231 library, uh, which I explained uh, uh, how to install in the previous video. So, um, then we start by declaring an object of class RTC DS3231 that has all the fun functionalities needed to access the device uh, and decides from us the implementation details. Um, this is just uh, another, another detail. Uh, for version 1.0.1, we declare the, um, the object like this. And for version 2.0.0, uh, the declaration is a little bit more complex like this because it uses C++ template. So, in the setup function, as usual, we open the serial connection so we can output the results of our program and then we call the begin method on our RTC object. This will start the I2C connection so we can talk to the device. Then, in the main loop, uh, we'll just um, uh, we'll do a measurement every second just as an illustration. And how do we do that? Well, uh, we have a method called getTemperature that we can call uh, on the RTC object and this method will return an object which we call temperature of class RTC temperature so this class um, will represent our measurement and will uh, make available some methods so we can check uh, the values, the values of temperature so we already have our object and uh, again in this RTC temperature class, we have a method called sfloat that will return the temperature as a floating, uh, a floating point number. Why? Uh, because this device has a precision greater than 1 degree Celsius, uh, it's actually 0 0.25 uh, of a degree Celsius, so um, we need to deal with floats. There are also um, methods to access just the integer and the decimal part. We are not going to cover it, uh, them here, but uh, I'm leaving the, the, the note. So, uh, we print the temperature with a serial print uh, uh, call, and then we print the, the C representing degrees Celsius. Of course, that if uh, at your country you don't work with degrees Celsius, you need to, to do the conversion for the the unit that you, you, you use. Finally, do a small delay of uh, one second, so we get uh, many measurements. So, after finishing the code, just upload it. I've already done it. I have already the code running on my SP8266. So, I've opened the serial uh, port, and as you can see, 
Uh, well, we have some garbage here. The, the SP prints some garbage first when you open the serial port. Then we have 21.25 uh, degrees Celsius. Um, multiple measurements. As you can see here, it starts changing to 21.50 uh, uh, degrees Celsius. So we are in Portugal. It's a sunny country. So it's a good temperature. Uh, of course, that if you are uh, in a country that doesn't work with degrees Celsius, you need to do some uh, sort of con conversion uh, to the units you, you use. Uh, well, as you can see, this is very simple, uh, but I would like to highlight the potential from these, uh, from these two devices, the SP and the DS3231, both very cheap, but uh, as you can see, uh, you have here the potential to implement uh, an actual commercial IoT device for not only measuring, me, uh, measuring the, the um, temperature, sending it to a server, it also has the timestamping capabilities because it is an RTC, you can implement some alarms, and uh, these are two very cheap devices and uh, very, very powerful. Uh, thanks for watching. I will leave the link for my blog in the description where I have the full source code. Uh, you can uh, read it in detail. I have a detailed explanation. You can copy and paste and test it. And uh, thanks again for watching.